B.C. RCMP have made a disturbing drug bust. A Richmond House fire led police to discover a meth lab right beside an elementary school. This comes as stats suggest a major spike in methamphetamine-related crimes in that province. Paige McPherson is digging deeper into this story for us and joins us live from Vancouver. So, Paige, this is an alarming discovery and it was a fire that actually led police to the house. Tell us about it. Yeah, that's exactly right, Sneha, which actually adds to the surprise of the whole factor. Really, this was a surprise discovery. Uh, it was uh, originally discovered when there was dark, thick smoke clouding out of the chimney and out of the windows in the garage door of this house that is located next to an elementary school and a daycare, and on the other side, a park. And uh, the fire department was called in. They went to care of the situation, but when they realized that inside of the house was filled with oil barrel-sized vats of chemicals, that's when they called in the RCMP. And the RCMP have determined that it likely uh, was a meth lab, and that's what this house was being used for. So definitely shook the community. We were there just yesterday as the investigation uh, is continuing to go on, uh, and uh, the residents were absolutely shocked. Now, when we were there, we were able to talk to uh, the Richmond P RCMP. Uh, we talked to the spokesperson, Stephanie Ashton, just, you know, how concerned should people be? Is this a growing trend? And here's what Ashton had to say. We're not necessarily seeing a growth in the number of, of labs we have, but we are the fact that we're still seeing them within communities, the fact that, that uh, someone could boldly put one in the house next to an elementary school uh, would say that, that any time we have one of these, we have to be concerned because this was one house. So how many are undetected because they haven't had a fire at this point? Uh, our team is working, uh, once they've identified suspects in this matter, they'll move on to try to see where else they're working and potentially be able to shut down other labs. So, Sneha, after talking with the RCMP and residents in Richmond, really the main concerns were not only the toxicity uh, that's, you know, emitted in the smoke that was obviously coming out of this house and that could have at other times been released, but also just the fact that meth labs can explode. And that's a major uh, safety risk when you're talking about an area that's right next to an elementary school, a daycare, and of course a park. Uh, but what are the greater implications here? This certainly is a troubling case, but are there growing concerns of crystal meth use and crystal meth related crimes in BC? Yeah, absolutely. It really does come at a time when there are growing rates of crest, uh, crystal meth, methamphetamine related crimes in this province. Uh, the possession crime rates of methamphetamines are up 20% since 2011 and they're up 110% since 2009. Uh, in terms of possession rates across Canada, also BC is the second highest rates in Canada in this province. So definitely uh, this comes at a, an interesting time. And, and I was speaking just a few minutes ago with David Berner from the Drug Prevention Network of Canada. And and, you know, after speaking with these residents in Richmond who really felt helpless, like there's nothing they can do to know about this kind of stuff, especially since it was a surprise discovery, I said, what can people do? And, uh, and here's what David Berner had to say. These issues are provincial and federal. So what can ordinary citizens do? They can phone their uh, MLA and their MP. They can mount citizen groups and they can say, we don't want this stuff in our neighborhood. This is, we don't want meth labs next door to the school. It has to stop. So definitely a call for community action there, Sneha. Now, in terms of the case, I can update you on the latest, really. They are still looking for suspects in this case. Nobody as of yet, but certainly going to bring you those details as they develop. All right. Thank you very much, Paige. Thank you. That is Paige McPherson from Vancouver.